Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today to share a few thoughts that I hope will light a spark in your hearts and minds. Today, we're going to embark on a journey together, a journey about moving forward, leaving behind the chains of the past that might be holding us back. It's a journey about embracing the incredible potential each of us has. You see, life is an extraordinary tapestry woven with the threads of our experiences, choices, and dreams. Each thread represents a different part of our story, our past, present, and future. But sometimes we find ourselves tangled in the threads of our past, caught in a web of memories, regrets, or what if. It's human nature to look back, to ponder over what might have been. But here's something I want you to remember. Dwelling on the past can keep us from living in the present and planning for the future. Now let's think about the past for a moment. It's like an old dusty book on a shelf. It holds stories, lessons, heartaches, and joys. These are the chapters of our life that have already been written. And while they are important, they are not the end of our story. The past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. We visit it to learn, to reflect, but we don't live there. We live here and now in the present where we have the power to write new chapters to change the narrative of our lives. Imagine for a moment that you're holding a pen. This pen is special. It holds the ink of possibility the color of hope. With this pen, you can write your future, a future unshackled by the past. But to do that, you must first put down the weight of yesterday. You see, carrying the past on your shoulders is like dragging a heavy suitcase everywhere you go. It slows you down, wears you out, and keeps you from seeing the beauty of the world around you. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a traveler who came across a wise man the traveler carried a heavy bag filled with rocks from every place he had been. He asked the wise man, how can I enjoy my journey more? The wise man replied, by letting go of the rocks. The traveler was puzzled, but these rocks are my experiences, my past. The wise man smiled and said, remember them, learn from them, but don't carry them. Your journey will be much lighter. This story is a simple yet powerful reminder for all of us. Our past experiences are valuable, but they shouldn't weigh us down. Instead, they should serve as stepping stones guiding us towards a brighter, more fulfilling future. As we move forward in our conversation today, I want you to think about your own life. Consider the baggage from the past you might be carrying. What if you could set it down Imagine how much lighter, how much freer you would feel. This is the first step in moving forwards, recognizing that while the past has shaped us, it does not define us. Our future is an unwritten book and we hold the pen. So let's begin this journey together with open hearts and minds, ready to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead. Let's learn to leave the past where it belongs and step confidently into a future filled with hope, growth, and endless potential. Remember, it's not just about moving on. It's about moving forward with purpose and passion. The best is yet to come. Let's start writing that next chapter together. As we delve deeper into our journey of self-discovery and progress, it's essential to take a moment to truly understand the weight of the past. The past with its complexities and intricacies is like a vast ocean behind us. Just as the ocean has its depths and currents, so too does our past. It's filled with experiences that shape who we are, memories that bring both smiles and tears, and lessons that forge our character. But like the ocean, if we're not careful, it can also engulf us, pulling us away from the shores of our potential. Let me tell you about the nature of the past. It's a double-edged sword. On one side, it holds our triumphs, our joys, our successes. These are the moments we cherish, the memories we hold dear. They remind us of what we've achieved, 
the hurdles we've overcome, and the joy we've experienced. These memories are like stars in the night sky, guiding us, inspiring us, reminding us of the light in our lives. On the other side, the past also holds our mistakes, our failures, our heart touches. These are the experiences that often come to mind when we're alone in the quiet moments of reflection. They're the memories that can bring doubt, fear, and uncertainty. They whisper tales of what went wrong, of opportunities missed, of paths not taken. And if we're not careful, these whispers can turn into shouts, drowning out the present and obscuring our view of the future. But here's the key. While the past is unchangeable, our understanding of it is not. Every experience, good or bad, holds a lesson. It's like mining for gold. Sometimes you have to sift through a lot of dirt and rock to find the nuggets of wisdom. But those nuggets are there, waiting to be discovered. Our past mistakes are not just regrets. They are lessons. Our past successes are not just memories. They are motivators. Think of some of the greatest figures in history. Their lives were not devoid of mistakes or failures. In fact, many of them faced extraordinary challenges and setbacks. But what set them apart was their ability to use their past as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. They learned from their mistakes, they grew from their experiences, and they kept moving forward. Consider this, a tree cannot grow without its roots. Likewise, we cannot grow without acknowledging our past. Our past is our root system feeding us with experiences and lessons. But just as a tree reaches for the sky, we too must reach for our future. We cannot change the past, but we can change what it means to us and how it affects us. Let's ponder for a moment the concept of forgiveness, both of others and of ourselves. Forgiveness is not just an act of compassion. It's an act of liberation. When we forgive, we release ourselves from the chains of resentment and regret. We free ourselves from the burden of the past. It's like setting down a heavy load that we've been carrying for too long. Suddenly, we feel lighter, more agile, ready to move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. And what about the successes of our past? They too hold a special weight. They remind us of our capabilities, our strengths, and our potential. They're proof that we can achieve great things. But resting on past laurels can be just as hindering as dwelling on past failures. Success is not a, a final destination. It's a point along the journey. It's important to celebrate our achievements, but it's equally important to keep setting new goals, to keep challenging ourselves, to keep growing. In understanding the weight of the past, we must also acknowledge its role in shaping our beliefs and attitudes. Our past experiences often dictate how we see the world, how we see others, and most importantly, how we see ourselves. These beliefs can either empower us or limit us. It's like wearing a pair of glasses. If the lenses are clouded by negative experiences from our past, our view of the present and future will be distorted, but if we clean those lenses, if we choose to see the world with clarity and optimism, our possibilities become limitless. As we continue on this journey together, I encourage you to reflect on your past. Look at it with honesty and courage. Embrace the lessons, release the burdens, and use your experiences as fuel for your journey forward. Remember, your past does not define you. It's not a chain that holds you back, but a ladder that helps you climb higher. In our journey of self-discovery and growth, we've looked back at the past, understanding its weight and lessons. Now let's turn our gaze to the present, the here and now, which holds an incredible power that is often overlooked. The present is like a canvas fresh and waiting for us to paint our moments, our decisions, and our actions. 
It's in the present that the magic of change and possibility occurs. The present moment is where life happens. It's the only time we truly have control over. The past is gone, a memory. The future is yet to come, a mystery. But the present, it's here tangible and ripe with opportunity. It's like standing at the crossroads of time where every decision we make, every action we take, can shape our destiny. Let's think about the nature of time for a moment. Time is a curious thing. It's the one resource that is distributed equally to everyone. Regardless of who you are, where you come from, or what you do, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's a level playing field in that sense. Yet the difference lies in how we use that time. And the most effective use of time is to be fully present in each moment. Being present means being fully engaged with what's happening right now. It means not letting your mind wander to the past or the future, but instead focusing on the task at hand, the conversation you're having, the work you're doing, the moment you're experiencing. It's about living intentionally, not just going through the motions. Think about the times you've been truly present. Maybe it was a conversation with a friend where you listened intently, or a project at work where you were completely absorbed. Remember how alive you felt? That's the power of the present. It's in these moments that we find clarity, creativity, and connection. Now, staying present isn't always easy. Our minds are often cluttered with thoughts, words. It's like a busy street with cars and buses of thoughts zooming past, honking loudly for our attention. But just as a traffic controller manages the flow of vehicles, we too can learn to manage our thoughts. We can learn to focus on the present, to quieten the noise, and to direct our attention where it's needed. One of the most effective ways to do this is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply the practice of being aware and present in each moment. It's about observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment. Imagine sitting by a river and watching the water flow by. That's mindfulness, observing the flow of your thoughts, but not getting swept away by them. And why is this important? Because when we are present, we are in the best position to make decisions, to take actions that are aligned with our goals, and to live our lives with purpose. The present moment is where change happens. It's where we break old habits, create new ones, and step out of our comfort zones. Let's also talk about the power of gratitude in the present moment. Gratitude is acknowledging the good that's already in your life, the blessings big and small. It's easy to get caught up in what we don't have or what we wish was different, but gratitude brings us back to the present to a place of appreciation and contentment. It shifts our focus from lack to abundance. And in that shift, we open ourselves up to more joy, more peace, and more fulfillment. Remember, the present moment is where your power lies. It's where you can take control of your life, make conscious choices, and create a future that excites you. Every moment is a new beginning, a fresh start, a chance to do something different. As we continue on this journey, I want you to embrace the power of the present. Practice being fully present in your daily activities. Whether it's having a meal, talking to a friend, working on a project, or simply taking a walk, be there fully. Observe the world around you. Listen intently, engage deeply. You'll find that life becomes richer, more vibrant, and more meaningful. Now that we've embraced the present and its power, let's turn our eyes toward the horizon, the future. The future is like an unwritten book, each page waiting to be filled with our stories, our dreams, and our achievements. It's a place of endless possibilities, a canvas for our aspirations. But to paint this canvas, to write these pages, we need a vision. A vision for the future is not just a dream or a wish. 
It's a road map, a guiding light that directs our steps and gives purpose to our journey. Creating a vision for the future starts with daring to dream. It's about allowing ourselves to imagine the life we want, the person we aspire to be, the impact we wish to have. It's about thinking big, reaching beyond our current limitations and seeing beyond what is to what could be. It's said that if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. So I challenge you to dream boldly, to envision a future so magnificent, so fulfilling, that it stirs a fire within you. Now, envisioning a great future is not just about personal success or achievement. It's also about the kind of person you want to become, the values you want to uphold, and the contributions you want to make. It's about building a legacy, leaving a mark on the world that says, I was here and I made a difference. As we think about the future, let's remember that it's not something that just happens to us. It's something we create. We are the architects of our own destiny. Every choice we make, every action we take, every thought we entertain shapes our future. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The seeds we plant today determine the flowers and fruits we harvest tomorrow. One key aspect of creating a powerful vision for the future is setting goals. Goals are the milestones on the journey to our vision. They give us direction and focus. But setting goals is not just about deciding what we want to achieve. It's also about understanding why we want to achieve it. The FWIS is what gives our goals meaning and depth. It's what keeps us motivated when the going gets tough. It's about the greatest achievers in history. They didn't just drift aimlessly through life. They had a clear vision of what they wanted to achieve. They set goals, they made plans, and they worked tirelessly towards their vision. They faced obstacles, yes, but they didn't let those obstacles deter them. They used them as stepping stones, as learning experiences that brought them closer to their goals. But a vision for the future is not just about achieving and accomplishing. It's also about personal growth and development. It's about becoming more than we are today, about stretching ourselves beyond our comfort zones. It's about learning new skills, gaining new insights, and opening our minds and hearts to new possibilities. And as we create this vision for our future, let's not forget the power of positivity and optimism. A positive outlook is like a beacon of light guiding us through the darkest nights. It's the belief that no matter what challenges we face, we have the strength, the resilience, and the determination to overcome them. It's the unwavering faith that our future is bright and that the best is yet to come. But having a vision and being optimistic is not about ignoring reality or pretending that challenges don't exist. It's about facing those challenges head on with courage and confidence. It's about seeing obstacles not as dead ends, but as opportunities to learn, grow, and become stronger. As we think about our future, let's also consider the impact we want to have on others. Our lives are interconnected and our actions, no matter how small, can have a ripple effect. By pursuing our vision, we can inspire others to pursue theirs. We can be a source of hope, encouragement, and positivity. We can be the change we wish to see in the world. As we stand at this pivotal moment, with our eyes set on the future and our hearts filled with dreams, it's crucial to recognize that dreaming alone is not enough. To turn our visions into reality, we need to take action. Action is the bridge between where we are and where we want to be. It's the catalyst that transforms our dreams into achievements, our thoughts into reality. So let's delve into some actionable steps that can propel us forward on this exciting journey of growth and accomplishment. The first step is to set clear, specific goals. A goal is like a destination on a map. Without a destination, we wander aimlessly. But with a clear destination, we can chart a course and follow it. 
When setting goals, make them specific and measurable. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, define what success looks like for you. Is it starting your own business, writing a book, improving your health, whatever it is, write it down. Make it tangible. And then break it down into smaller, manageable steps. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Once you have your goal set, create a plan of action. A plan is your roadmap guiding you from where you are to where you want to be. It outlines the steps you need to take, the resources you require, and the timeline you should follow. Your plan doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, it shouldn't be because flexibility is key. Life is unpredictable, and your plan needs to accommodate unexpected changes and challenges. The important thing is to have a plan that moves you in the right direction and keeps you focused and aligned with your goals. The next step is to cultivate discipline and consistency. These are the engines that drive us forward. This discipline is what keeps us on track, especially when motivation wanes. It's about doing what needs to be done, even when we don't feel like doing it. And consistency is about showing up day after day, committed to our goals. It's the cumulative effect of small daily actions that leads to big results. Just like a river carves its path through consistent flow, we too can carve our path to success through consistent effort and discipline. Another crucial step is to embrace learning and growth. The path to our goals is rarely a straight line. It's filled with twists and turns, obstacles and setbacks. These challenges are not roadblocks. They're opportunities to learn, grow, and become stronger. Embrace them. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this make me better? Adopt a growth mindset one that sees potential in every situation and learns from every experience. It's also important to surround yourself with the right people. The people we spend time with can greatly influence our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who support your dreams, and who challenge you to be your best self. Seek mentors and role models, people who've achieved what you aspire to achieve. Learn from them, be inspired by them, and let their journey light the way for yours. Moreover, take care of your physical and mental well-being. Our body and mind are the tools we use to achieve our goals, and we need to keep them sharp and healthy. Eat well, exercise regularly, get enough rest, and practice stress reduction techniques like meditation or mindfulness. A healthy body and mind are not just essential for personal well-being. They're foundational for achieving our goals. Another key step is to stay adaptable and resilient. The path to our goals is not always smooth, and we need to be able to adapt to changing circumstances and bounce back from setbacks. Resilience is about having the mental and emotional strength to face challenges head on to learn from them, and to keep moving forward. It's about being flexible, like a tree that bends in the wind but doesn't break. <laughs> Lastly, celebrate your progress. Recognize and celebrate your achievements no matter how small. Celebrating your progress keeps you motivated and reinforces positive behavior. It's a way of acknowledging your hard work and reminding yourself that you're moving in the right direction. As we draw our conversation to a close, it's important to pause and reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together. We've explored the past, embraced the present, envisioned the future, and laid out actionable steps to move forward. This journey, like all great journeys, is not just about reaching a destination. It's about the growth and transformation that occur along the way. Remember, the path to achieving our goals is a journey of continuous learning and self-discovery. It's about becoming more than we were yesterday, about stretching beyond our perceived limits, 
and about writing our own story, one page at a time. It's a journey that requires courage, commitment, and perseverance. As you step forward into your future, keep these key points in mind. First, understand the value of your past. It has shaped you, but it doesn't define you. Use it as a source of lessons and strength. Second, live in the present. It's the only moment where life truly happens. Be present, be mindful, and make each moment count. Third, hold on to your vision for the future. Wow. Let it be your guiding star, keeping you focused and inspired. And finally, take action. Dreams become reality through action. Be bold, be disciplined, and take consistent steps towards your goals. Along this journey, there will be challenges and setbacks. That's inevitable. But remember, it's not the challenges that define us. In every challenge lies an opportunity for growth and learning. Embrace these opportunities. Stay resilient, adaptable, and always keep moving forward. Also, never underestimate the power of gratitude and positivity. Be grateful for the journey, for the lessons, and for the people who support and inspire you. A positive mindset can be your greatest ally, helping you to see opportunities where others see obstacles. As you go forth, remember that you are the author of your own life story. You have the power to create a future that is in alignment with your deepest values and highest aspirations. Your potential is limitless and your future is In closing, I want to remind you that the journey to your goals is not a solo journey. It's a journey that we share with others. So lift others as you climb, share your learnings, support your peers, and be a source of inspiration. Together, we can achieve more than we can alone. Finally, remember that this conversation is not the end, mm -hmm. but a beginning. It's the start of a new chapter in your life, a chapter filled with hope, growth, and achievement. Keep striving, keep growing, and never stop reaching for your dreams. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. Remember, the best is yet to come. You have within you everything you need to succeed. Believe in yourself, take action, and watch as your dreams turn into reality. Here's to your success, your growth, and your extraordinary future. Let's make it a journey to remember.